Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Miami Township Board of Trustees meeting, March 6, 2023. I'd like to call this meeting to order at 5.01. Um, tonight we have two guests and um, some business to take care of and also some work to do in executive session. So I thought we'd take care of business, let our guests present, um, and then do executive session at the end so that we don't feel rushed or so that we don't make these good people um, wait out here in an empty room. Does that sound good? Sounds good. Okay. So we can keep asking just as long as possible. <laughs> Hopefully not too long. Um, um, I'd like to call for um, a motion to adopt the minutes of February 22nd, 2023. I so move. I was absent. And I found no errors. So you would second it? I would second. And any more discussion? Then none. Then I can second it to adopt the minutes of the February 22nd, 2023 meeting. Ms. Oliver? Yes. Ms. Martin? Yes. And that's approved. Okay. Um, we have the payment of our. Um, would like to entertain a motion to pay our bills um, in the amount of $18,521.11. That's. You got that? Oh. Look it. No, 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 no. $64,494.95. That's the general fund $12,614.12. Fire and rescue $42,053.89. Cemetery $5,415.90. EMS billing $937.86. Roads and bridges $3,473.18. Um, can I, do I have a motion? So moved. Second. Any discussion of these bills? Hearing none, none may we vote? It's been moved and seconded to approve payment of bills in the amount of $64,494.95 as enumerated. Um, Mr. Meeser? Yes. Mr. Hollister? Yes. Ms. Moyer? Yes. Motion approved. Awesome. Um, we have a bit of correspondence. Green County Public Health Annual Meeting. Village of YS notice of a public hearing for homing PUD right next door. So it might behoove us to go to that, I don't know if, we're, if we uh, if we care what the plan is. Um, oh, I, I forgot to. I think that's March 28th. So I don't know if y'all are interested. Um, oh, this next one is fabulous, Lacey Fox. I had asked her about. Let me project my voice for people at home. I had asked her about getting fixing the situation where we could barely hear ourselves on the website, and um, she recommended a camera, and Chris, did I see that you even ordered it already? Mm, yep. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna cross that right off the list. Well, uh, not a camera, a microphone. Microphone, it okay. goes with the camera, yeah. Oh, okay, cool. I was reading quickly. Mm. OTA legislative alert. Um, OTA was bending our ear about HB 23, the transportation bill. I have not read that, but if anybody has anything to say about that. Um, I saw, I was, I was so excited, I thought we got a letter from the Honorable Pete Buttigieg, but it was a letter from Chris Mutcher to Pete Buttigieg, this is true. asking for support for our um, YS connector, and, and what is the bigger project sure. called? Connect Ohio. Connect Ohio. That was awesome. If he gets our letter back, we'll have to <laughs> frame it or something. Um, MVRPC invite to the annual dinner on April 14th. I'd like to talk to you about that because I don't know if um, it's something uh, I don't know anything about it. Okay. 50 bucks. Um, I hope you all saw that we had a National Day of Unplugging on March 3rd. Richard, were you unplugged on March 3rd? I'm always <laughs> unplugged. <laughs> so uh, I missed it. Um, Otarma risk management coverage and outline invoice. Don Hollister, you had something about and. We went to a meeting where they suggested an ad hoc regional solar planning task force. We'll hear more about that at some point. Yeah, the February 4th. 
Chris, I've been following the emails back and forth with you and Fred Cox about a cement apron, and it just befuddles me. I don't know where the cement apron is. I don't know what's behind happening the to building, it. In front of and behind the building, all the bays, all the cement, a big cement pad, where the trucks are coming in and out. They're, they're mm -hmm. starting to crumble. And that's, my, I did some research, and that's probably from the way the concrete was placed. It's, 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 a, it's in other words, it wasn't done properly. And whether it can be stopped from happening is highly questioned. It, is the surface coming up, or is it deep cracks? No, it's the, it's delaminated, it's flaking, peeling. Surface going, surface going down. Mm -hmm. And is there any recourse? Um, Maybe it must be seen. Is <laughs> yes. I'm sorry. Uh, it's our resource. <laughs> That'll give her something to do. Oh, yeah, sure she has plenty. Yeah, typically on these, what we'd have you guys do, you know, let us know what the issue is so we can discuss it with the county engineer and come up with a solution as far, to how, as, far as how to address that with Fillmore. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because we've talked Great. to some other townships about it as well and, mm -hmm. and issues that they weren't. Fillmore is supposedly, supposedly getting back to us with options for potential recoding or, or something to slow down the spalling, but. It may come to this. It, it, it will, you'll probably only lose a thin layer all over, but you'll have a much rougher mm -hmm. surface. Okay. It won't keep keep coming apart. That's good. Gen if, again, that's based on my research, not years and years of experience. Mm -hmm. But um, and I went out and looked at it. That's what it said to me. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we'll keep that. Uh, well, that's good to know about the, one, the little searches. I had nightmares of the whole thing chunking apart, but I'm glad you know. Likely. If that does happen, you have definite recourse. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we got a letter from Hope Taft because we had agreed to go along with her signage grant. Um, in, other, in Sugar Creek and other places, they put signs everywhere a road crosses the Little Miami Scenic River or one of its tributaries, and they'd like to move into our township. We um, wrote a letter that we, we supported, and I think, I don't know what that means. It probably just means Paper signs. Does it? Probably. Oh, she's getting a grant. For she's the getting signs. a grant. Oh, is she? Oh. So I gave. We, three. we may. I, I spoke with her. We may, as I understand it, uh, we may be putting the signs up. Installing. By we, do you know Well, there's it's just a sign that says crossing Little Mine. It's little. It's more than that, but it's, it's, it's basically a sign saying this is Little Mine. And there's there's actually two kinds of signs. There's signs for the people in cars going across the bridge, and there are signs on the bridges for the people canoeing underneath to know where they are. I, I think guess. she's aiming at the car one since she's talking That's about tributaries, and they don't get much travel. But um, so I gave you each sheet. Of, she um, identified four places where that's true. I don't. I'm gonna I give my sheet to Dan because okay. he he rattled off. Four or five other ones. Yeah, oh, that's cool. what I'm saying. I thought there were definitely more. Yeah. Okay. And Assuming we use named tributaries. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. So, right. I mean, not just little ditches. Um, so if you guys get those back to me, I'll, I'll let her know. Apparently two signs at each place, one coming and one going. Um, and then Stephanie Groff of the Green County Grant Opportunities for Road Safety Signage. $50,000. I have no way of knowing how badly we need that or whatever, but they, she has um, multiple workshop dates where a trustee can go and learn how to um, apply for this grant. I'd be happy to go, but I don't have any idea if we're... We've applied for those in the past. We and didn't turn them. We, we didn't get them. Yeah. We didn't, we didn't, <laughs> we didn't qualify. qualify for something, right? Mm -hmm. Do you recall why we didn't qualify? Well, it, it's about safety. Can you can you think of which signs we would need? I mean, are we in need? I don't want to go. Get Safe, way just safety like, signs are like curb ahead. Yeah, these could be replacement for signs that, that aren't that the reflectivity has right. has worn off of. Is that necessarily new ones? Could be new ones, but also could be replacements. Upgrades. Yeah. Okay. What I saw in that also. <clears throat> we can't have received the grant before. Well, we qualify there. <laughs> uh, 
Maybe it's our turn well, now. Maybe we ought to just I think it's check. worth checking out. If yeah, but it had like 10 different uh, dates. You money is different it. now. Well, the other thing is, if we need any. I mean, right, I didn't want to get it just because they're waiting for the thousand dollars in front of us. I think it's replacement for something that aren't my bid. I think that's what okay. it is. But, mm -hmm. They gave about 10 dates between March 28th and June 6th, so I, I guess I could go to one of those. Um, public comments on any, agenda, any members of the public who aren't already on the agenda? We did have one additional correspondence that didn't make this. It's okay. from County Prosecutor South about uh, yeah, I saw that. what we don't know what that means. P-R-S-S-N-I. Uh, agreement. Yes, I know that's something that they sent out today. Mm -hmm. um, I will take a look at that, and I I will get with you guys and explain to you exactly what what they're looking for on that. Okay. Well, in 15 pages, I mean, I got a lot of information, but I wasn't 100. I do know that they want three thousand dollars a year from us. So, so be, yeah, I, I guess will, that's the bottom line. I I knew they were sending that out today. I didn't actually send that out. Mm -hmm. um, so let me have a chance to read through yeah. everything. And did I'll you, contact you guys. And did you see you ESRI was the beginning? No. Oh, okay. Anyway, okay. Was. Yeah, I wasn't sure what that was about either. I assumed we, we, we pay for our services we get from these good people, but I didn't know. What are um, the, I'm sorry, what are the initials again, please? ESI, as in. I don't know. Yeah. This is a new program. This is not oh. something that's currently oh. in place. Okay. And it includes a lot of. Infrastructure, groundwork, a lot of computers. P S I S N. Yes, it's, it's, it's an interagency inter agreement. agreement. Mm -hmm. And I think it, we each got one because we electronically signed. And it does them. not specify what P S I S N stands for. And it I, involves all the villages, cities, townships, and in, in the county, whatever it is. Okay. It sounds like a geographic information. <clears throat> Fire department report. I thought Colin was going to be here, but I see that he's not. Um, anybody have any thoughts about the fire department or in Colin's absence? Um, no, not me. Not I, I should say. Um, and just incidentally, I'm out, I may walk across the hall. I had a message on, on my zoning uh, messages someone asking about getting an inspection for opening a restaurant downtown, and they said they had repeatedly tried to contact the fire department and hadn't gotten any responses. Hmm. Do you so know I was what just trying to hand that to Do you know what date they contacted them? Oh, repeatedly, okay. Yeah, fine. they just said they, they've mm -hmm. been trying, so I think now they're going, you know, spreading the request further. I have a phone number. Maybe it's the subway place, but I don't know what's... Well, we've had some overlapping vacations and time off, time off some things, so see if we can get back on track here pretty soon. Okay. Um, cemetery and Road Report. Um, last time Chris had a note to vote to adopt the road repairs of 2023. I don't know how we do that. Or? Well, we'll, we'll do it in-house. In the only question was, did, did you submit everything mm -hmm. to the county? Mm -hmm. Have you had any Updates on prices of what might potentially come um, through. Well, like top four twenty. I mean, our portion. Oh no, price they haven't changed it. What I got from them. When I turned it in, what it said, I haven't received anything else. It was like fifty, fifty-six thousand fog seal and mm -hmm. forty-three thousand in black. So you think that's still current? Yes. Okay. Um, so. I would entertain a motion based on our road tour, our annual road tour, our public meeting, uh, to contract with the county, which we've basically done because we've passed the deadline, uh, for road repair in 2023, township roads. Am I allowed to make that motion? Yeah. And the, the details are, are in the report from last yes. meeting. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I, I moved. Okay. I'll second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, may we vote? It's been moved and seconded to approve. Sorry if I get this wording right, please. Contracting with the county for road repairs for 2023. Mm -hmm. uh, 
um, in the amounts um, enumerated in last meeting's report. Mm -hmm. Mr. Mucci? Yes. Mr. Hollins? Yes. Ms. Mullen? Yes. Motion approved. Fiscal officer's report. Um, if we have one, we could get a report. Well, we'll start with we got our what I think is our draft appropriations for the year, mm -hmm. and um, we we three trustees should study them for a couple of weeks and then see if we have any um, suggestions, changes, additions. Is mm -hmm. that how? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, hopefully we could vote on our um, 2023 appropriations on March 20th. We're going to have to. Yes, we shall. Um, I'm looking forward to digging into that. I have one, something to, to, to ponder as we think about those preparations, and uh, it may be worth bringing up with the fiscal officer or somebody, but I noticed that uh, the, the money that's being received from our most recent levy, mm -hmm. the, the fire levy for um, personnel Mm -hmm. and, and, and associated costs. Mm -hmm. um, that money is being lumped into the just general fire fund. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That can't happen. Well, that's what I was yeah. thinking. Yeah. Yeah. I, I would think there'd be a separate fund. It, would be it has to because the language is so, the other fund right. is not specific. Okay. So okay. maybe right. that could be uh, I'll address that. And yeah. Plus, we owe some money back to the general fund, so I'll discuss that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, good point. I didn't. So it was put into 2191. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and then we have a resolution amendment of temporary appropriations. Um, Whereas it is an ongoing process to accurately appropriate the funds according to the needs of the township. Now, therefore, the trustees authorize an amendment to the following temporary appropriations. General fund, um, $100 advertising increase, um, $1,200 to medical hospitalization. Road and bridge increased by um, $5,270.76 for garbage and trash removal. Cemetery. The, um, the mysterious contracted services increased by $1,000. Fire levy fund, electricity increased by 842. Same fund, water and sewer, 489. I suppose these are to pay incremental things before the appropriation came mm -hmm. in? Yeah, okay. these are for the temporary, not the permanent, so. Got it. To be able to get up to zero on some of those accounts. I will move for payment. A second. Any other? Dis any more discussion? Hearing none, may we vote? Okay, it's been moved and seconded to adopt resolution 2023-17, amendment of temporary appropriations as enumerated. Mr. Mucher? Yes. Mr. Hollister? Yes. Ms. Meyer? Yes. Resolution approved. Now, before the tears flow, I do note that we have skipped the cemetery road report. Oh, shoot. With the exception of one minor resolution, oh, or one minor wow. motion. Oh, my, my apologies, Dan. <laughs> She's eager to take that body kind of way. What do you got for us, Dan? What's uh, happening out on the roads? Since the last meeting, we've had one burial, full burial, Glen Forest. Glen Forest traditional. Yes, Old Park. And we've been working in other groups. We're moving unwanted things, trees. I was horrified when I thought you were moving, removing that entire row, yeah. but you're just removing the, the first row. Just straightening things yeah. up. Probably got a couple more days of that, and we should be ready for seating and stuff over the next week or so. Mm -hmm. Our electrician will be there tomorrow and put power to the pump. Put power to the, 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 the pump? Yes. Wow. You might have water out there. We don't have power. I mean, yeah, two and a half inches of water. Well, is on the pump first. You know, but we'll have everything prepped. Wouldn't that pump have a plate on it? That's what I asked him. He said he didn't know. So I've got to find out what voltage it is. 
We'll get it. We'll get it. There's no hurry. I mean, we've been pouring <laughs> Like Richard says, we're pouring <laughs> That's not dry up there right now. No, yeah, that motor on, pump motor on, that does have a plate on it, or there's something weird going on. Somewhere. And it's more than likely 220 volts, but no, you should check. I query that perhaps we should have an electrician who's actually installed a well pump in their Before. lives. Well, that could be too. We can't, beggars can't be choosers, and not. the contractors are hard to come by these days. Yes, yes. There are some important things to do because the pump torques every time it turns on. He just make sure the wires have to play it for that. We'll find it. We'll find it. The electrician needs to know what electricity it is. I don't want to burn up the pump. Mm -hmm. But that's all I can do. Well, I have sold a couple more of the little growth tree lots. I think it's cool. They're mailing in, so I don't know if they've made it yet. Wow. A lot of interest in that area. Mm -hmm. I had an inquiry today about it. If we were the if we were the only people that used this room, I think we should have a big map that shows every time we sell a lot of it in it, you know. But such yeah. fantasies aren't appropriate. Um yeah. think for you have anything for roads? I didn't do the roads. I did. Okay. <laughs> I found some limbs down on South River Road, but I moved off the road. Well, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Going down Friday night. Yeah, so they weren't huge, but I didn't want a better bottom over. Do I need to clean them up? Maybe. I didn't, I didn't do it too many days. So. They're off the road. Okay. So, well, you know. I'd be out that way. Yeah, next, next time you go, okay. go by. Um, Oh, uh, there was uh, there was I was surprised how few there were stuff that was down. I was also surprised how little water there was standing in the in the culverts and you know perhaps overlapping onto the roads. I mean, for the amount of rain we had, wow. a short amount of time. But we the ground was relatively dry. I mean, it, it got wet, wet, wetted on Monday or whatever, so it wasn't you know real dry. And everything ran off. It just kept soaking in all day. Tell that to Scott Hammond on his farm. Down there by the little Miami, it had about two feet of water on it. Oh, really? Well, I just I was amazed because I had more water in my gauge. I had two and a half inches, more than I've ever had, I think, since I've had a gauge and, and reported. And and the, the water table in the ground came up five feet. And on the surface of the ground, I hardly had a pump. Hmm. Yeah, that must have been it. We got some water down there now. Most of ours drain pretty good. Fixed a few issues where it didn't drain there. Yeah. You know, so there's things flowing pretty good. I mean, we got free water now where it used to stand. You know. Like I mean, Tobias, where it would back up in the field on heavy rain, you'd have a yeah. pot, and we would place yeah. a culvert. And, yeah, there wasn't any there? Yeah, we would have yeah. it. So it helped. Still a fair amount of standing water at the. You know, there's trough there in the building. Your, your, your troughs are there. Is that it's right? It's not installed. Yet. Okay, well, there we go. As soon as I finish up growth, there'll be one. Um, how uh, how close are we to um, purchasing a new bush hog? Uh, I should have had a quote. I mean, did you get anything? No, but okay. you do have a quote. I do have to get that to you for the repair of the, of the overhead door. That I know his motor went out. He said water drips on it, right? He says it fix the fix the roof before he puts a new motor. It's in. fixed, but okay. And I talked to him the other day. I told him we already fixed it, but I said I even said I don't. If there's enough water to do that, but that's what the man said. All right. Well, I've got a, I've got a copy of the proposal that needs to be signed by you because it's to your name. So. Oh, it is. Yeah. Does it? We gotta have it. So well, maybe I'll get it back, or maybe I'll just send it back to him. I'll put the end in hour. I'm so glad you had a new bush hog, just for the for sake of procedures. We just we get new bush hog. We just buy it. Do we? And we say, hey, trustees, we put new bush hog, and this is why, and we go down the doors. Yeah, you're 100% right. Um, yeah. Did you get a price on one? He was supposed to send me a quote. Okay. Obviously, I didn't. Right. Well, 
Well, I guess we need that quote because okay. that would be more official for how much it's going to cost. Okay, but I'm all for a new bushhog. I'm sure we need it. Yeah, yeah that one's thirty some years old. Okay. Thanks for keeping it going. Man. <laughs> Still works, but but they were spending days. almost as much time fixing it yeah. as they were out on the yeah, highway. Yeah, I'm sure we need one. I just I never know how things are required. Um, or I, I some I sometimes don't know. The, the rate of deterioration increases as they get old. And um. Um, well, it's more for itself. And the, the, the old the old dump truck isn't solely. I wanna Ooh. let wanna let this Richard, was the Richard know that there's a dump truck for sale. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't received any. This was the date. So we missed somebody missed buying the truck. So what do we so do? So what do we do? We want to take give it to my nephew. <laughs> can't give it to your nephew. <laughs> uh the one gentleman that was interested, he had a heart issue or something. So you may call. Okay, I can make contact the county them. and with their. Do they, they, do they do auctions too? Well, yeah, electronic ones. I mean, it's it's all done online, but they sell tons of stuff that way. And that's how you can take bids on it. We have to sell it that way now. Or? It will be bid on, I believe. But we have uh, I'm not 100% sure. Yeah. If we put a price on, I don't know. So we, we'd have to do that, we can't just sell out now? No, we cannot. Okay. It's too expensive to, to just sell out. Well, we have it's, to go through the county then. Yeah, okay. it, yeah, it either has to be done through, through a sealed bid or through another government agency. Okay. okay. So you're keeping this legal, actually. That's right. <laughs> um, so, you know, anybody know anybody who needs a dump truck? Yeah, but they still have to somehow bid to the right, <laughs> in the right way, Bob. Really, it's going to go. Mm -hmm. I mean, when we get to me, I'll talk about dump trucks. <laughs> um, we're almost to. I think we forgot one thing, though. Um, in the fire report, we have a um, a, resol <laughs> a resolution. We're going way back. <laughs> um, resolution two thousand twenty three dash sixteen. Sixteen. Um, we have a new, uh, a young firefighter volunteer, or some kind of a yeah, fire and rescue volunteer, Sven Meister. I believe he's a high school student. I know, I absolutely know he's a high school student, and the son of um, Officer, Meister. Officer Meister, who is also already a, a, one of our volunteer fire, fire, firefighters. And, um, must I read this? Um, whereas the continuing need exists to maintain proper staffing within the Fire and Rescue Department, and whereas Sven Meister has completed all of the necessary application materials, background checks, and interviews to be appointed as a volunteer for the Fire and Rescue Department, and whereas Chief Altman has recommended the appointment of this candidate, and whereas funds are available for the purpose of training and equipping volunteer personnel within the Fire Department's operating budget, now, therefore, be it resolved that the above candidate shall be appointed to a volunteer position for Fire and Rescue Department effective March 6, 2023. I'd entertain a motion to get this guy where well, the game's good. So moved. I'll second. Any more discussion? Okay. Mm -hmm. And seconded to uh, adopt resolution 2023-16 appointment of Miami County Fire and Rescue Volunteer Personnel, Sven Meister. Mr. Meister? Yes. Ms. Moyer? Yes. Mr. Hollister? Yes. Awesome. The resolution has been approved. Cool. He's a nice kid. Okay, one last thing for roads. Are those oh, two sorry. broken posts on Bryan Park Road, are those new? On the curb? Yeah. yeah. Oh, they look like fresh, there's like fresh brakes and you know. They're right in the curve. Yeah. No, that happened six months ago or something. Oh. Oh. It's on the you know, floor. Yeah. Keep on the that, that guardrail serves its purpose. Yes, it does. <laughs> and, and one last thing. Uh, how much of your road equipment has been serviced for the spring? The motors. The, just the two motors. Mm -hmm. The tractor will be next. Okay. I mean, you're going to try and get those. Oh, yeah. Well, of course, you can sure. Okay. One last thing. I realize yep. this is the third one last thing. I had no idea I wouldn't have interrupted. <laughs> I have gently suggested uh, and requested uh, 
not ordered, but I gently suggested that you we're going to clean up the garage and we're going to make space for new shelves and we're going to order tons of stuff from Napa to have them delivered for a year or more's worth of supplies and have them available for your work when you did your work on your mowers and your, your tractors and, and all the rest of those things. I even went so far as to ask Brandon while you were gone to make a list of all the batteries that we use in all our equipment because I want every battery replaced last last week, you know, because they're not there, and so now that's got to be ordered too. And then every three years, I uh, want every battery replaced because, I, you know, I don't like us going out of service out on the ditches or wherever by a battery not working and whatever it is. I think it's just a good idea to keep ahead of this stuff so we don't, you know, we don't slow down. So, I'm uh, now very strongly suggesting that get done this week. Um, and it can't be too difficult because at this point in, in, in our inventory, we're, we're not going through too many consumables. I mean, wiper blades and oil, oil and hydraulic fluid and, and oil filters, an air filter or two, and these batteries, we're not using spark plugs, we're not using points, we're not using rotors. Well, some of this stuff does, I know, but we're not going through too much. So, and you got to go to Menards and get some shelves. Okay. You know. So I've asked since January 1st, and it's now March 6th, and I, okay. I don't notice any cartons full of stuff out there. You want to set on 10 batteries? Uh, I don't care. No, you're not going to set on them. You're going to replace them all at one time. Okay. That's all I have for roads and or cemeteries, for sure. Zoning inspector? Well, I want to start off. Um, I've only issued only two permits. Yeah, so far this year, only two permits. The second one was for an in ground pool. It's been so warm, people are you know, thinking about swimming. Mm -hmm. But uh, the, the man who has the businesses putting in the pool, we were negotiating when to come in, and he, he had just bought a dump truck. <laughs> <laughs> because he has to haul the dirt around for building in ground pools. And he was having trouble getting it, getting the, the licensing down in Xenia because he bought the truck in North Carolina and everything else. Anyway, just a little bit of a story. And I thought, well, maybe he needs another dump truck. I should let know that we have one available. Um, the Zoning Commission spent most of their last meeting talking about temporary use permits. Um, Temporary use variances, I'm sorry, not permits. And um, they came up with a couple of specific things to, to gather more information, but they didn't make, come to any conclusions. Um, there will be a Board of Zoning Appeals hearing on the 16th, that's Thursday at 7 o'clock. Um, the, the Chappelle's and this is actually a property that's not Iron Cable Holdings or something else. This is David Chappelle, residence on Hyde Road, that was a home house. They, as, as most people know, that drive up and down that road, it looks like the Green County Sheriff has set up headquarters there. Mm -hmm. That's in fact Dave Chappelle hiring uh, off duty personnel when they're available for security surveillance. Mm -hmm. um, apparently, there's been two or three different issues, something, you know, things have happened, and, and so they've gone that route, but that's not the most practical route. They prefer to have a, uh, guard you know, house. A, well, they want to have a, a system where they hire a guard as opposed to hire deputies or whatever, and they want a place for him to, to stay while he's doing his job. Mm -hmm. But our, um, that, that property, well, all the property along that side of High Road is zoned residential, and we don't allow accessory structures in the front yard, mm -hmm. essentially. So they're asking for a variance on that. There's, I, uh, this is a, I'm working with a woman who works for Dave Chappelle and is handling all of this, and, and I said, well, you've got three things that you have to deal with. One, that variances are only supposed to be if there's something different about this particular piece of property than any other piece of property. Mm -hmm. 
you know, and you can argue that one way or the other. The second thing is, is having a, a guard in a guardhouse um, an appropriate residential use. In other words, you can't give a variance for something that, that isn't a legitimate use, and I think there are reasons that that could be or not be. And then the final one is that if a variance is granted, is it the minimum variance to accomplish whatever needs to be accomplished. And so, and I, this gets a little crazy because like, oh, why can't you have security cameras? You know, why do you have to have somebody sitting there? So all of that, anyway, get the BCA gets to hash all that out. Um, Are there plans, drawings for us? Oh, for but, but, well, there's, there's a site plan of where they would have the guard uh -huh. house and, and some examples. They would be not building something from the ground up. They would buy a, a prefabricated unit and set it down. Does it have utilities in it? I think it has to. I think it has to have an air conditioner in it. For example, it's um, so there, at least there would be electricity to it. I don't want anything more than that. Um, it's not a it's not a it's a, a mini residence. Mm -hmm. It's not a place where you cook or, or take a shower or something. Anyway, I got those details. Um, it turns out, you know, when there's a, a hearing like this, you notify all the property owners within 300 feet. Mm -hmm. Where there are two property owners within 300 feet, Dave Chappelle and Scott Hammond, mm -hmm. or Highbrook Farms and, and Dave Chappelle Enterprises or whatever. So, on some of them. There's nobody in the little house at the at the front. That's that. Well, there's somebody there, but the Dave owns that property. Oh. And it's to the property owners that I uh -huh. send out the, the okay. notices. Anyway, and, and um, I had a long conversation with Scott, uh, just a, a friendly conversation. We, we've known each other since we rode the bus to school together, <laughs> among other things. Scott he was on our zoning commission for a while. Yes, he was. And, and worked for MVRPC. Yes, he did. Uh, all those good things. Anyway, and he said, you know, the, the biggest problem, and he's, and he's that I'm, I'm trying to be neighborly, but when people move into the township from having been in a city, they bring their city concerns with them. Okay, for example, said there were never lights on all over the place before, you know, and now it's like daytime at night across the street. There were never people, constant traffic in the middle of the night. There was never a gate going beep, 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 opening, closing, mm -hmm. all day long. Mm -hmm. And so it's, it's kind of an, a little bit of an interesting challenge about how do we maintain, you know, vis a -vis our comprehensive plan of the, the rural agricultural nature of Miami Township if we've got situations which, you know, I think I think actually Scott's biggest concern was the literally traffic, mm -hmm. not not zooming up and down the road. It's just going in and out and in and out and in and out, deliveries and visitors and and at all times of the day and night. So how would the, the how guard would, doesn't really change that a whole lot? So well, how 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 would I mean I understand his concern. How do you address that? I, I don't know. That's why I you can't that's why I kind of brought it up here. It's just the more people that sort of hear and say, well, hmm. Well, would we police everyone in the township and see how many visitors they have or how many parties they have? No. I mean, there's people building big houses. No, and, no, and that, this is the problem. You know, as, mm -hmm. as, as Scott said, we want to be good neighbors. We would, you know, if, if we would hope that they would say something if somebody drove into our house in the middle of the night. But it doesn't kind of work the other way in, the, in, in this situation. But it's, it's just something to recognize that's happening, okay? It's, it's kind of like, um, I don't know, Joe, who's our farmer in Clifton. Staggs. Joe Stagg said to me, you know, when, when I was first farming this piece of property, I couldn't see another house. And now I can't count them all on my fingers. Mm -hmm. It's just, you know, and that's over his lifetime. But the changes keep, keep coming. Sure. And 
and it, you know, and, and we sort of have a choice to encourage them or discourage them or or say, well, that's just the way it goes. But um, you know, bit by bit, the character of the township is changing as we have more and more people who have who are coming to take advantage of the rural feel rather than contributing to it. I certainly see that something that could potentially be addressed by the Planning and Zoning Commission. Yeah, I, th I think so. And, and, there and are, you know, the, there's, you know, we, we had that joint meeting in January, and so now the two are a little bit more realizing that they're both there and, and there needs to be a little bit of interaction between the two. It isn't, you know, they're, they're, they're both theoretically working towards the same end. And so they both need to understand what whatever that end is. Right. I agree. Is Scott Hammond's residence within 300 yards? Yeah. So I'm not sure. Right, right across the street. <laughs> right across the street. He's, oh. he's the, the closest. Okay. Curious. Yeah, matter of fact, I think the other two pieces of Hammond property are actually farm acreage. The piece directly to the west of, of Dave and then the, the, the other piece across the street next, next to Scott. There's nobody in that house? I don't know. Mm -hmm. each, the, each one is listed as Highbrook Farms as the owner, but yeah. each one has a different address. Mm -hmm. So the, I assume that the, the, my notices went to each mm -hmm. resident. Mm -hmm. okay. But that's all I have to say. Anything else for Richard? No. We could at some point talk about the Welsh farm going, but I have not much to say now. I got this map from Michelle Burns, and there's a potential for 22, I think, 22 frontage properties okay. along just after she, Jesus left. 6,600 feet of frontage, over a mile of frontage. Um, she had asked for a meeting at one time, but then withdrew a request. Yeah, so about I about talked that. to her last week about mm -hmm. a different matter, and um, she's, she said, no, no rush. That um, the family has not even obviously a chance to deal with. Um, yeah. I don't think it's on a fast track. Um, okay. Well, I have one thing. Uh, the last thing, guaranteed. <laughs> uh, there has been an awful lot of activity within the state of Ohio and Greene County about solar energy and where to put it, how to regulate it. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Not just industrial solar, but smaller scale solar or medium scale solar potentially. There have been uh, multiple townships that have addressed that issue and have adopted or in the middle of adopting solar. Um, um, Regional zone. planning gave out a sort of a boilerplate package that they thought was appropriate mm -hmm. a while back. I would, you know ask that we as a board, and we have that, certainly we have that, that right and responsibility, to encourage our zoning commission to consider um, adopting uh, zoning regulations for, uh, for solar in uh, Miami Township. For, for small scale solar? Small or medium. Small Anything medium under 50 megawatts. Those are, that's what's being regulated at this point through regional planning I mean, through the townships, through regional planning, and their their zoning commissions are, are doing that are doing that work, and I would hope that. And you know, there's there's no reason to reinvent the wheel. I I've seen all these regulations. I think there's some very good ones, at the at the very least, to to initially uh, adopt uh, to get something on the table um, uh, or on the books, I should say. I thought it was interesting. There was a report. I think I heard it via WISO about a just under 50,000 intentionally array on the west side of Dayton. Yes. Was converting a farm to agricultural land to, to solar. And obviously, and they were talking about that was something like enough electricity for 14,000 houses. Mm. Which says to me that. For example, if, if Kingswood were to go through, that solar energy is obviously not for us you know, in any way, shape, or form. And so I still think that if we're 
using productive farmland and converting it to solar, that we need to think about sharing the responsibility, not just, oh, because the first one got done and things would happen, then people will tag right onto it because they were successful here, as opposed to saying, okay, now it's Xenia it's Township's turn or it's Beaver Creek Township's turn to divvy up a, you know, come up with a thousand acres. Um, as opposed to, oh, let's just make it easy to develop in Miami Township because our regulations are there and there you go. I'm confused. Well, I mean, we're not talking about large scale. But that's what I'm scale. saying. The, lo the just under 50,000 is what we are talking about. Up to 50,000, aren't we? Yes, and we could institute a moratorium, but I don't believe we could uh, re uh, prevent the legitimate use of, uh, of landowner owner's land. I don't, I don't know what's legitimate use. So that's for the zoning commission. I mean, yeah, they, that's the zoning commission. Yeah, to, to use their land yeah. to... But I have a problem with just the zoning commission because we did a comprehensive plan over 10 years ago and before this was even an issue. And if five people decide for an entire community based on a plan we did 15 years ago when it didn't exist, it seems like it needs a larger I've input than that. I've advocated a review of the comprehensive plan also. Uh, to be underway. I don't know where it's that work. stands, but I, I think <laughs> some things need to yeah. start moving. Um, I know Richard has made the point, um, once, it's, once it's beyond the use for one farm, if a farmer is using it for his own farm, that's one thing, but once it's larger than, a, than their farm, it becomes commercial, and then we don't we don't allow any commercial ventures on agri agriculturally zoned land. However, by not doing anything, would you say maybe Ashley that then if we get if we're challenged, we have nothing in place? That's right. Well, I don't know, but I'm going to look at this a different way, which is when <coughs> cell towers came along and people saw them as a as a threat rather than a benefit. We put together all kinds of regulations, and then the state of Ohio said, cell towers are utilities. Okay, I don't see why solar arrays aren't utilities. Because they're defined as larger than 15 ones. To be a utility, yeah. you have to be more than 50, is that? Yeah, yeah that's correct. And, and, and what is it underneath that? That's your just stuff. It's low electricity zone. generator. Well, I want to just add, and I don't think we should discuss it at length here, but we could have a, a dual function. Yes, you can have commercial uh, solar installation if it's done in such a way that farming can continue in the same footage. And there are models that are more expensive uh, that is more expensive for the solar installation, uh, where you have, where you can have you have to the pasture, you can have less dense concentration of the panels, so there can be vegetables grown, uh, and there are places that that's been done, and so there continues to be farming. So we need to deal with things in front of us and then get to work on the solar thing. Okay. I mean, um, and, you know, I know you know that we have a lot of things on our plates. Okay. The, I just threw yeah, it yeah. out there, that's all. No, no, I'm really glad you did. And then mm -hmm. Don and I are still, we still have, and Ashley has contributed her thoughts on several ideas. We never did take action on whether or not to um, restrict large scale and um, there's actually four or five different options for that. Restriction in different places, restriction, ask them to put a time limit on it, you know. Restriction, restriction in the south, but not in the north or the west. I don't know. So lots of, I do, and unless we set side, unless we set time aside for it, I think, I mean, yeah, it's, you're bringing it all up again. Unless we set time aside for it, we're, 
going to be chasing our tails because well, we can be we can ask the zoning commission to review the issue. Yeah, well, I've, okay. they, well, they're going to hear about it. Okay. I guess what another way of what I was trying to say is. It seems to me there needs to be greater cooperation over larger geographic areas about where the solar arrays go. It shouldn't yeah. be just when some company comes in and oh, it totally grab the be. land. It should be a statewide plan of how much we want and where are the best places for it. And but you know, even if we like just do a county plan. That's how that King, Kingwood came in, you know, it's like, boom, oh, we're here. And, and there's so, like, there was no, as far as I can tell, any kind of logic to where they plopped down other than it was, you know, a nice big fresh piece of cleared land with high voltage That's wires on it. What's the logic? <laughs> there will be a regional solar planning task force, but it's ad hoc, not really under any... Well, maybe we should become involved that. We could meet people who... Yeah, well... Yeah, I'll see you about that. Here. I saw your email about it. Yeah, uh, MVRPC may well do the um, staff uh, staffing of it, but it's not settled at all. Okay. It's a background discussion. I hear it, and I hear the urgency, and uh, it is such a complex issue, and it's changing all the time. Say, it looks like we're up to new business. Yes. <laughs> oh, new business. no, come on. IPANDA is the name of your... It is. I, we met at um, the... Oh, I, actually, I, I knew of you when I was admiring Bath Township's website. Oh. And I thought, I wonder who that company is. And then I met you at the, at the Ohio Township Association, and you said, we did so many years. It's Bath Township. And I, I've already looked at your work. So. Yeah, we did yeah. Uh, Bath Township last year. So, um, she, mm -hmm. yeah, she asked me if I, um, if I can come out and talk to you guys in person and let you know a little bit about IPANDA. I created a proposal, but my proposals are less like a hard sell and more like a start of a dialogue. I'd like to show you guys what we do. Bath Township is one of our clients, so you can see a visual of what we've done. Mm -hmm. um, I map out the ideas I have for your township, but again, it's just a start, and it's always, I do the presentation, show you what I show you, and then I open up the floor for questions because you guys know your township best. Mm -hmm. So is that okay? Yeah. You okay, Leslie? Oh, yeah. okay. Got to okay. start somewhere. Okay. Yeah. So I have tens of four. So I'm going to put one here and look over your shoulder. Well, that's fine. We also have a screen. Right. If you... uh, I'm going to go low, low tech on this one. Okay. So pardon mm -hmm. me reaching over. You guys can have that one together okay. if that's all right. Mm -hmm. If you want to, if you're watching tennis, you can back and forth between the two. Okay. Uh, start at the end, on my card you see there's a QRC code. For all of our clients, we create a QRC code. Mm -hmm. So let's say you have an event yeah. or your road equipment, um, we can have a QRC code. It's on your road equipment and people scan it and it goes right to the road department page. So you have flyers, you have any kind of special events. So that's something you for selling a dump truck. For selling a dump truck, mm -hmm. actually, I'm going to work backwards. Usually I go through the proposal, but that idea there, that should be on your website. I have done that Newton Township um, over towards Youngstown uh, by Newton Falls. Um, they have stuff for sale. And mm -hmm. what they did is they said, can we post it on our website? So we put a pop-up bubble mm -hmm. that no matter what page you're on, there is this bubble saying <laughs> dump truck for sale. <laughs> and when you go to the page, there's their bid process. Bids will be open on such and such date. Um, that's Newton. There was at least two other townships that have done that. Interesting. Not only do we post it up there, mm -hmm. I put a timer on my task list that the day, mm -hmm. like if it's if they're opening bits at ten, at eleven o'clock, I'm taking that button down mm -hmm. so that they're not hounded by people going, "Well, I'm going to do so." Mm -hmm. um, so what the proposal that I have in front of you is, you can see the first page is introduction, it tells you a little bit about by Canada. Okay, started in 2018 talks a little bit about who we are. The executive summary here 
Um, talks a little bit about the projects. What we're proposing is that you have an existing site. We call it a lift and shift. We take everything in your existing site and we're going to lift it to a new platform, new site, refresh, and so forth. Kind of uh, it's a website remodel. Um, past work includes we have Zane Township. This is just one. Right now I'm at 32 working on, I'm launching two more, so we're at 34 sites. About 70% of those are townships. I also have uh, clients, Florida, Ireland, so I'm all over the place. Some are government sites, some are for-profit sites. Mm -hmm. uh, working on talking with a dialogue with a nonprofit, but that one hasn't been yet. Mm -hmm. um, project number two, well, number one, Zane Township, they had no website before they were working with um, Hypeganda. So they were doing their meetings, no technology. So just papers, when they were posting a notice, it was literally on a bulletin board outside of the building. Mm -hmm. So we have them now. That. We know about that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you've taken that journey. Mm -hmm. So uh, project number two, this is um, Penfield Township. Now they're up north of Marion County. That was interesting. It's one of my favorite stories. Presented a proposal to them. I had met Vicki actually at the OTA conference a couple of years ago. And she says, come talk to us. And I did. And everybody was receptive, except for the one person, the one trustee, who had been doing the site for about eight years. Mm -hmm. He said no, because he was very concerned that here's this unknown, and he's worked very hard on that site, and he didn't want anything lost, and so forth. So yeah. I, they, off, they voted to give us a try, and we did. That's Dwayne, who's now one of my number one fans. Mm -hmm. Because of, we made sure to find a home for all of his existing content, and then, working with me, I made his life incredibly easy. So he gets to come up with the architecture of the site, what goes where and everything else, and new ideas, and hey, how do we do this? Um, and I get to do the behind the scenes work. One of the biggest success stories with their site, it used to be kind of a dry site, and we call your guys as a bit of a dry site because he hard coded everything. So when we launched to the new site, one of the first things, he was like, you know, we have these blood drives, can you put like the PDF somewhere on the site? What I did is I created a landing page. So as soon as you go to their domain name, here it is, donors needed blood drive. Since they started doing that, they sell out every time. And by sell out, like there's only so many slots that they can have with yeah, the blood drive. Sure. Not only do we do that and celebrate it, we also post the results of the blood drive. Mm -hmm. So since that's been happening, so that's just one of the different ideas. I always say, come to me with, what are you trying to do? Sell a dump truck? Mm -hmm. Is there a road close because the water is out? Um, Whitewater Township, is, which is more a little bit um, closer to Cincinnati, they contact me on Friday with all that rain. They said, can you please post? We have a road. So if you go to their website right now, they haven't taken it down yet. They didn't tell me to take it down. Um, there's a landing page with a flood mm -hmm. in the background and a poster that says, this road is closed. Mm -hmm. And then you can click through to the home site. So, so just some ideas of what we do. And then if I, if we have a little bit of time, I did bring my laptop so I can show you a couple more sites. Did you grab a calendar when you were at the booth? No. Okay, I didn't bring calendars. Uh, <laughs> the calendar, what I did is I created 12 months and every image in there is from a township website or one of my client sites. So we use, I pride myself on your website is unique to you. So um, it's, Again, starting at the top where I said, you guys know your, your township, your constituents, what's important, what's to celebrate. On your current site, it's almost cookie cutter. It's not celebrating some amazing things about you guys. Specifically driving through your township, you're in Yellow Springs, which is, this is me as a city world going, the country hug a tree in a good way, not derogatory kind of, your site's not celebrating that. The thing that was celebrating that you did share that you were frustrated is your menu used to have these rainbow colors. Gone. Not true rainbow. So just but just a variety of colors. But there's yeah. a subtle nod to you. We accept things. We accept people and stuff like that. So yeah. my point is, is this like could be working harder to represent who you are. So flipping the page to solutions. Some of the solutions you can see I have it say following possible sections. Mm -hmm. This is just a start. We're talking a home page, about us, bylaws, departments, officers' information, meeting schedule, minutes, all rental information with calendar integration, community and resources with event calendar integration, cemetery maps and other information, 
um, privacy cookies and accessibility statements. The cemetery, you have two, three cemeteries? We have two, two. Two, all two of my sites. Yeah. Yeah, two and a half. If yeah. you go to department pages, cemetery, we have a map showing where those cemeteries are. So somebody visiting your site, they want to do some research, mm -hmm. they're on their phone, they click that, it'll take them from their, where they are sitting in their car directly to that cemetery. Mm -hmm. That's included in all of their stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I noticed on yours, you do have some embedded software that is, hey, you can search grave sites. Mm -hmm. We offer that too, and a little bit more of a user-friendly experience. Um, I noticed that was, when you guys were talking, I was on my phone looking through your site. One of the frustrating things is you have a search cemetery records that populates on your zoning page and some other pages, yeah. so it's kind of a little bit disorganized. Mm -hmm. So it's like with ours, cemetery maps, all your departments, everything's clearly organized mm -hmm. and it's not overwhelming. We try to get whoever's visiting your site the information they want as quickly as possible, including we also offer a search button at the top mm -hmm. so they can search your site for what they're looking for. Um, site integrations, we do Google Analytics. Um, I use the Wix platform, you may have heard of it. They do have commercials saying free sites with Wix. You get what you pay for. They do have free sites, but it has Wix branding all over it. Mm -hmm. I use that particular platform because all of my sites are turnkey, mm -hmm. which means at any point you guys say, hey, we've got somebody on our team that really wants to manage the site. Great, let me train them. I can turn everything over to you. Let me create the site. You own it all. Mm -hmm. I'm managing for you. I set up all the software, all the integrations, we run it and manage it. But turnkey, which means um, going back to why I use Wix, for entry level, no tech experience, it's easy to use, it's a lot of drag, drop, it's very intuitive. However, it's also robust enough that myself with some coding experience, in software development, I can go in on the back end mm -hmm. and hard code things and create the software, um, create the experience for the searching the cemetery records. Mm -hmm. That's not a new to tech level experience, but the Wix platform can handle new mm -hmm. to tech and also more experience. So, mm -hmm. um, let's see, uh, email, calendar, and file storage integration, we use Google, Microsoft, and Zoho workspaces. Okay, I noticed on your site, I'm scrolling through, you do have a trustees app your township domain, mm -hmm. I think it's um, miamitownship.net, mm -hmm. but on your main page, how to get a hold of you, you guys have Gmail accounts. So one of the recommendations, whether or not to go with IPANDA, I would recommend that you migrate those to an actual domain specific. Mm -hmm. So with my price, which we'll cover in just a minute, uh, I include up to five emails mm -hmm. attached to that domain name. So usually it's the three trustees, fiscal officer, and then a general info app. We can do more like rogue ad and zoning ad and so forth. Mm -hmm. Those come a little bit higher. Generally, to start people out, we start with those. The danger you're going to get into, it's not danger when you're using a personal Gmail and you get a records request mm -hmm. and you get to go through that personal email. The other thing is, is if one of you retires, to tell them. <laughs> if one of you retires or I say wins the lottery and you're like, I'm mm -hmm. done, <laughs> and you go to leave, now you're going to pull out all trusty information from that Gmail account, whereas if you have a domain specific, you can turn the keys over to the next trustee or fiscal officer or zoning and so forth. So um, additional features I have here, we will create and maintain, um, if you don't have your Google business profile set up, we'll do that for you. SEO settings, we do that after we migrate a month after. We can go through and set your SEO, your search engine optimization, which is if you search for Miami Township right now, Montgomery is getting the base hits. Mm -hmm. I get they're a very big mm -hmm. Miami Township, but we can do things on the back end that get you at least on that first page. Mm -hmm. Right now, you are first page, top of the list if you do Miami Township, Green County, mm -hmm. which is good. So we go in, not only do we do it at the beginning, I set a timer for six months out mm -hmm. and go in and refresh and double check because sometimes Google will switch the algorithms mm -hmm. and all of a sudden, where's our site? Mm -hmm. So that's what we take care of. 4,000 pages in. Right. Yes. Yeah. You don't, if you're not on page one, then you're just not mm -hmm. on. So um, we do upload your PDF documents, video recordings, and your monthly meeting minutes and key information. On your current site, it's a hodgepodge 
uh, it's kind of hard to find your last meeting's PDF, which is frustrating not only for you, but also for people visiting your site. You're recording. Mm -hmm. I tried to find mess meetings recording, can't find it. Some I did land on a YouTube for a different uh, yeah. it was a special meeting. We organize that for you. So we'll set it up where what is the easiest thing for you to do? Email me the PDF and I post it, or some townships actually have a shared Google Drive where a visitor can go in, open the drive, they can look at the PDFs, download them, mm -hmm. but they can't edit them. Mm -hmm. And so for some townships, that's the quickest easiest because their person that's doing the meeting minutes, mm -hmm. they save them, and then instead of saving them to a hard drive on a computer, they're saving them right to that file. Mm -hmm. The person I'm pointing to, because I know she's been taking minutes, you have access to go in there, edit, adjust, and so forth, but a person viewing from the outside cannot. Mm -hmm. You're doing your video recordings. I know that you guys probably are storing some of them on a YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. That should be right on your site. The link is, right to it's that. only a highlight, it's highlighted letter, so to see them here, and it's highlighted. It's, it's like, hey, watch us here. It's, it's more like a, And is this going thing. as a recording, or is this actually YouTube Live? Recording. Recording, OK. Um, if you have the capability, I have at least two townships. One does Facebook Live. Mm -hmm. So what we do the morning, or actually the day before the meeting, we have a pop-up bubble that shows up saying, meeting tomorrow night at 7 p.m click here to view on Facebook Live. Mm -hmm. We also have another one that does YouTube instead of Facebook. Mm -hmm. So whichever platform you want to use, they, the pop-up bubble shows up mm -hmm. the day before, they can go and watch YouTube Live. If they click the link for YouTube, it says meeting is starting in 24 hours and then the countdown timer. So it's kind of cool. So, this is not our equipment, so we don't control the content and the content goes back to, well, actually it's the village Yellow Springs that, that ah, okay. controls it. So, I mean, we'd have to invest in the hardware in order to to do a live to do meeting. The live. It's something to think about down the road. It's yeah. a part of what's baked in on the back end, yeah. ready for you guys to use. Yeah. Um, that's why I'm always doing the dialogue. I'm like, hey, how are you doing things? And this is how some other people do it. Or mm -hmm. here's a great idea. Here's the latest technology. Mm -hmm. And that technology is constantly changing. Um, the final one here, uh, the last two, email submission forms and interactive maps. I talked about that. Um, email forms, your contact page should have a contact form. So I always like to have that. I tell mm -hmm. them, you open your meetings up for public comment, that contact form is your public comment. Mm -hmm. And that will go to, you can set it where it goes to one person, mm -hmm. or you can set it goes to multiple people. I usually recommend no more than two to mm -hmm. avoid confusion. Mm -hmm. uh, we're building a town, uh, township site right now. They mm -hmm. requested, mm -hmm. should, we have a contact uh, form on the zoning page, out of Hitsville Township. Just the zoning person. Mm -hmm. On the cemetery page, that goes just to cemetery. And one on the hall rental page, that goes just to the hall rental. Mm -hmm. The answer is yes. Mm -hmm. So the technology is out there. Mm -hmm. So um, the last one, that landing page and interactive announcements, I talk a little bit like that. You know, there's a flood or a catastrophe or, God forbid, another train derailment. Mm -hmm. That should be a landing page going, here's the latest information, here's the links. Mm -hmm. People will look to your site for information. Right now, they look to it kind of like, it's like a bulletin board. They're just kind of like, well, mm -hmm. I don't know, is it updated? Mm -hmm. We're constantly updating things. If, if, if a link or a pop-up bubble is updated, mm -hmm. we're taking it down so that people know that this is not just a draft site. Um, I'm going to jump right back up to privacy cookies and WCAG which is your website content accessibility guidelines. All of our sites have these. All of our sites, we uh, track with Google Analytics. Mm -hmm. And what I do on a monthly basis, so your meetings tonight, this morning we would have gotten an email with, this is who visited your site in the last month. Mm -hmm. Here's the pages they visited. Here's where they jumped from one to one to one. Mm -hmm. um, it shows you how many people visited. Mm -hmm. If they visited on their cell phone, tablet, laptop, yeah, what countries. And then I drill down the countries, United States, how many people, how many of those were in Ohio? Mm -hmm. In Ohio, I give you the top 10 cities. Mm -hmm. So it's interesting to see the local cities who's visiting mm -hmm. and where they're visiting from. Mm -hmm. So, execution timeline. Mm -hmm. um, I'm entirely opt eternally optimistic. So if you guys vote yes today, we can start as early as next Monday. And what that looks at is we start with a kickoff meeting. So that would be March 13th. And then if you go down the timeline, you can see that we have your basic website launched 
one month from now, mm -hmm. April 13th, you have your new site. Mm -hmm. The two, the pipe, and we're activating the analytics that day. The two line items below that, you can see I have it pushed out to April 12th, 2024. Mm -hmm. Working with IPANDA, we don't just say, here's your site, bye. This proposal we work with you for a year. Mm -hmm. And that's why I call it on the 12th, or on the April 13th this year, I call mm -hmm. it a basic site, because we move all your content, we have it on a new site, but to me, it's basic. That site's not done mm -hmm. to me until a year from now, because mm -hmm. I've seen it again and again. We launch the site, people love it, and all the suggestions start coming in. Hey, can we do this? Hey, can we do that? We were working with IPANDA for a year, the answer is yes, the sky's the limit. Because I want you guys, having us on the team as your tech person, you guys start getting great ideas about, okay, the solar panel, this is how we want to address this. How do we do it? What's the best way to do it? And I'm always coming up with great ideas. And me being awesome at what I do allows you guys to be more focused and not stressed about, is this going to be up on the site? Is this communication that's going to get out there? It turns your site less from a bulletin board communication posting thing to a communication hub for your community. Mm -hmm. So people now know to come to your site for answers, for questions, they know they can be heard and get a response, and so forth. So um, turning that page, we go to um, project costs. And what I did is I broke it out into three line items. The first one that describes the cost of the website development and launch. Mm -hmm. And what's included in there, you got that initial planning, wireframes, mockups, uh, domain transfer and routing, content and development. We deploy, we test, live launch, uh, and then we activate those analytics. I make it, my goal is to make it the easiest and actually most fun you've ever had working with a website. Right? <laughs> I really like what I do, and a lot of my meetings, we're having fun, we're laughing. I want you guys to just be excited. That's my goal. So from the get-go with the yeah, kickoff yeah. meeting, it is, hey, who's the key players? Who's gonna help design the design? We come up with three um, website draft designs. Here's this one, here's this one, here's this one. I noticed you have somewhat of a logo here, mm -hmm. so we incorporate that. Or we also come up, if you're open for it, three new web, um, logo designs. Mm -hmm. So you can also get a redesign on the logo. Mm -hmm. Again, you own all that content. So you pick a new logo, you own all that files if you want to print things, mm -hmm. put new stickers on things, and mm -hmm. so forth. Um, so we work with you, and then it's an iterative process. We come up with the mock-ups, we should decide the design. Then we take two weeks to put <coughs> all the content. You sit back, relax, the only thing you're doing is once we pull the content, we share the page with you. Okay, here's what we pulled. All we found from zoning was all these things. Does this look right? Mm -hmm. So we've been working with him here, and sharing the draft and saying, what are we missing? Mm -hmm. Because sometimes once it's now organized, you realize, wow, we don't have this poster. We yeah. don't have that poster. We really should. Or, wow, that document hasn't been updated since 1987. Right. We should have a new one. So um, then we move into that's the launch, and then you see there's monthly support and site management and monthly hosting. So that support and site management, it um, it's includes two hours each month of that phone and email, you're sharing your analytics reports, ongoing website content. Working with me with, uh, for that year, it's as easy as sending an email, hey, here's this announcement, here's this information, can you post it? It's that easy. Mm -hmm. I pride myself on we get the turnaround time is within 24 hours. So if you have meeting minutes to post or there's an announcement within 24 hours, it is up on the site. If it's something where, hey, this, like the zoning page, we need to add now all these new features, at the very least, I will give you an email saying, okay, we're working on it. Here's the expected delivery date. Can I ask you a quick question? Yeah. Where do you sleep? When? Yeah. At night? I don't know how. <laughs> I have a really good team under me. Oh, you have somebody who works with you. Oh, that's great. Yes, I have SEO people. I also have a fantastic designer. I'm very good and very quick at the coding side of things. If you ask me to design a new logo, it will take me about eight hours. Mm -hmm. My designer, it takes her two. Mm -hmm. And she comes up with amazing things. She's very good at what I do is I visit with you guys. I'm very good at picking your brains and getting you to say what you like and don't like. And then she's a sponge. I come back to her and I just brain up. Mm -hmm. And she comes up with, I keep telling her, get out of my head. <laughs> but stay in there. But mm -hmm. yeah, so I sleep at night because okay. I set up the processes.
so I can't. I used to not sleep at night, but now I do because uh, I set it up where, okay, I don't make the promise of the 24 hour turnaround but unless I have a system in place as soon as your email lands. I acknowledge it, I see what the difficulty level is, and mm -hmm. I know exactly who to send it to so that it actually gets done. Mm -hmm. If it's something where it's specific to a conversation that we had and so my team's not going to understand it, mm -hmm. I will resolve it with you. Mm -hmm. That kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Good? good? Yeah, oh, absolutely. <laughs> Um, yes, so that monthly support and the monthly hosting, I do get this question that, okay, after the first year, then what? Mm -hmm. So that ties in this last page here. This identifies you guys own everything. Mm -hmm. With that in mind, if, you're, if we have a picture and we're posting it, the assumption is, is if it's from the existing site, you own it. Mm -hmm. If we post a picture, um, we find a picture like of a flood, it is zero copyright. Mm -hmm. So it's public access or public copyright, no copyright. Um, and I can't think of the words, not public to do, but. Domain. Thank you. <laughs> There's the word. Um, public domain, and we're very sure of that, and we're very, um, if there is something which you guys use, the understanding is you own it, or if it's somebody allowing to use it, like mm -hmm. a, a township uh, resident, and they're like, yeah, what we can do is put their name on, under it if mm -hmm. they want. So we're always mindful of that. Um, Let's see here. So what I was getting to, because you own everything, towards the end of the year, you know, we're looking at April of next year, mm -hmm. the month before, I'll reach out to you and go, hey, renewal's coming up, mm -hmm. what do you think? Do you want to work with IPAN in another year? Mm -hmm. If not, if you guys decide we're going to take it over ourselves, again, turn key, I'm working with you, training that person so that by the end of this year, you guys now have ownership and management of it. Mm -hmm. Most of my townships, well, actually, um, no. <laughs> yeah. uh, all of my townships so far have said yes to you continue because then what you're looking at is just those bottom two lines. Mm -hmm. And I will usually do a discount for payment in full. Mm -hmm. So my townships, unless you have, like I have one township, they have 36 emails that they want to set up because they want to fire fire 36. Whoa. A fire department. Yeah, they, well, they have their own fire department. They wanted all the fire department emails set up and bundled, and I said yes. Yeah. So them, that's above and beyond, but my townships, unless it's something expensive like that, you're looking at 1100 for the next year. My goal is this first year, completely wild your socks off. Mm -hmm. what's, what's it like working with high panel? Because my end goal is to continue to work with your team year after year after year, doing what I love to do, which is the tech on this and coming up with great ideas, and letting your team do what you guys are awesome. So that's it. That's my presentation. This is where I do the dialogue bit, make questions, concern, what's your biggest concern with your Well, I, I would just want to say to the other trustees that um, I think I've talked about my frustration currently. One thing we know is Mr. Cemetery, we've got an awesome cemetery with its own website that it, 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 Chris and his designer have worked on really hard, and they're set. They're, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. So, so it's but, just but we link. still have some residual on our. It's kind of weird because we have residual stuff on our site. Yeah, a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then, but mainly we just send them over. Um, our the zoning's kind of the zoning resolution's kind of a mess because I get you know a little email we just amended this part of it so I go and I try to get in and somebody's formatted the doc document a long time ago and so the numbers don't do right and then and there's another thing where you click on a p get a PDF of it and the PDF isn't quite that version well who has a real version oh Chris has a real version here it is so we got this version that version this version it's kind of like driving me that is yeah. and I could give the maybe more specific so website with design mm -hmm. oh the the zoning code got designed Okay. okay, which means that the page numbering isn't the same yep. as my code, yes. okay. right? Or, or I, I, you can't, you know, the, the, the font's different, or every, every, everything's still a little different just to make it nice, okay? But that didn't help me doing my job. But there's two things, so the, 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 let's say the zoning side of things. One is, I try to, encourage the zoning commission whenever they do something to code to say what is the intent mm -hmm. of, of this all right so i would say to you what is the intent for our website what are we trying to get it to do not all the things that you can put into it but what yeah. do we want to get out of it um 
And, and, and I'll just give an example. Most of the people that I know got information from the website, okay, because they, oh, they downloaded the form or whatever. Mm -hmm. We don't give them instructions for filling out the form. They just download it and try to, to go with it. Yeah, um, but then they expect us to be able to pay online. Oh, we don't have that component of the technology. So doing everything on the website doesn't save them any time at all. Yeah. They still have to, you know, come to the office or do a back and forth of checks in the mail or, and so, and then the last one is, in a sense, who is it for? I've got members of my zoning commission who just started using email. Mm. All right, mm -hmm. just. Mm -hmm. All right. I have a feeling that we've got lots of people outside the township who are happy to be able to use our website, but to serve our local community, it may not be the best way to go about it, or how you approach putting it together mm -hmm. needs to take into consideration that community, not just the high-tech community who's used yes. to using websites. So those are, those are my concerns. And that's, that's a big point. This is why every single one of my clients, they have very unique websites. It's mm -hmm. not going to be cutting cookie cutter. And what I do is I don't sit there and go, you've got to have this form, this, and all this. I know all the Razzmatazz tools, but my first question is, you know your zoning people better than I ever will, so you, what you just said there is gold. My commission, the people visiting the site will want technology. The commission will not want technology once the happy medium. So a couple of examples, Penfield Township, if you check out their zoning, the uh, Dwayne, my contact person there, he said, um, we're getting a lot of comments that people land, if they do the PDF, and it's searchable, so they can search the resolution for what they're looking for, but when you're on your mobile phone, they're frustrated because they can't. Right. So I upped in, that was his concern, not my concern. Mm -hmm. I know that there's software out there that can do all the bells and whistles, so Penfield uses that. My other townships, they're not interested in the searchable PDF. Um, Bath Township, the zoning person there, it was like, I asked her, okay, we're gonna do your page, we're gonna do these bare minimums, get the documents, but what's your biggest pain in the butt? And she says, mine is, she comes in, she has a limited amount of time to be at that zoning desk, but she has, wears other hats out in the world. Biggest frustration, she comes in on a Monday and her day is sunk listening to voicemails, mostly about zoning complaints and about so what we did is we took her zoning complaint form and not only had it as a PDF that we could download, she said, no, I don't want that. I want them to actually fill it out online and it's gonna send me an email showing me exactly what the complaints are. She's a little bit tech savvy, so that works for her. It cut down on all those voicemails because we just gave a platform for the people that want to complain. My, the reason I'm using that as an example is because that started with a conversation with her. Bath Township is the only one that has a zoning complaint for them. Um, things like, okay, uh, we have a resolution that's set, and then three months from now you're like, we got it, we changed page 35. Mm -hmm. You know, it's either, okay, did you create a whole new document, or does that need to be inserted in somehow and then update? We can do both. Again, what works for you? I have uh, Perry Township up in um, Lake County, when they send their meeting min minutes, what their visitors to the site are used to is seeing a year's worth of meeting minutes. Mm -hmm. So they started in January, and then they sent me February, and the expectation is we add February to that same PDF. In, in March, they're gonna add March to the PDF, so it's just like we keep adding pages. I have the software capability to add pages to that PDF. Mm -hmm. All she has to do is what she did yesterday, because they are in meeting, so this morning, she sends me, here's the latest resolution, and then please add these minutes to the existing PDF. Mm -hmm. So it's, I sit there and I ask the questions for your particular page, for your particular area, what's most important to you? And then I have access to all the tools that not only makes it easier for the person visiting, but it makes it easier for you using the tool. So that's why I don't joke. <laughs> I want it to be fun for you guys mm -hmm. and also the easiest experience, so. Yeah, we also have, our minutes page now is a blog, which is kind of wonky. Especially now that we're doing P PDFs, you click on it and you gotta click again. And you click, and you're trying to yeah, kind of And I would say, could we do it a different way? She said, I think it works well. Um, the coloring, as you said, 
I was also told it can't be fixed. So, and then we have the fire department, which I don't know what they're doing. No, that's not 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 that's the first line is we are primarily a volunteer fire department. And so yeah. I mean, it's just well, like, that, uh, yeah, so that needs to. They, they either they can do something new or we can remove them. I'm just what I'm saying is that we hopefully have, we'll we'll get her to go across the okay. hall. But so but, but I, please I um and then we have roads and all the roads. The best thing I love about roads it tells every single road that we have that's ours and what isn't ours. But the other things I don't know that we, we, we want to. Tell, uh, yeah, I don't feel like this is a setting to discuss well, details. Of okay, I, I'll keep yeah. it short then. Um, my point is to my fellow trustees is that um, the person who um, is doing this is contracting to another person internationally, and I feel like I can't get past her to get these little things fixed, and I'm frustrated. I move that we contract with our panda for a. New Township website. How's that? And I second. I'll third it. All right. We think we've been third. So, see you on Monday. <laughs> well, we, we, we need to vote. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. We're voting. <laughs> it's been moved and seconded to contract with our Panda for website redesign, etc. as proposed. Um, Mr. Mucci. Yes. Ms. Meyer. Yes. Mr. Hollister. Yes. I'm sorry, sorry. Actually, six thirty. Yeah. And one last thing. I'm happy to work with her and be the go person, if, and I'd love to have you because you this was your baby. <laughs> I'm the guy who had for eight years and doesn't want to change. But so you're I'm, my next number one fan. Yeah, okay. So, but I'm happy to I share. Next I'm happy, we can talk about that. I'm happy yeah. to share. I'm happy to take all the responsibility. I'm, I'm the person that deals with the website of having no input into it. And, and, and Richard You'll shall be my have number two fan. <laughs> my Richard, next step from here. I'm sorry to interrupt, but no. um, I know you, you guys are really keep the clock right. running. My next step will, because I have your email, I'm going to reach out to you. I, um, the, what I'll do is, um, whose name do you want me to put here? Your name. I'm going to send you a completed one with um, your name here. And I'll have mine signed. You sign it, scan a picture of it, scan it, and send it back to me. I will also send the invoice. And I'll send it to you, and then you can send it to the fiscal officer, and then you guys are set. So if you process however you do your payment schedules, stuff like that, that's all I need from you. I will also reach out to you to say, Monday, let me know what time you want to meet for the kickoff meeting, and then we can set everything else up from there. The kickoff meeting is where we set the whole schedule, when to meet, what time to meet, and what to look, what to look out for, how to pull the different people in. So, mm -hmm. I'll see you. Do you want this to be? Thank you for letting me take up uh, Excellent time. job. And thank you for Yeah, and it's, uh, I'm very excited to be working with you. You guys will see it's going to be, um, the easiest, most fun you have. That's the feedback I get from my fun. Thank have fun. Have fun. Good time. <laughs> Good time. Um, Thanks for coming. Thank you. May we move pet bur burials to next <coughs> week? Well, um, um, unless he's chopping at the bits to, to give the report. I wasn't Thank aware you. of okay. there being a report. Um, Thank you so much. Oh, and, and this time, and actually, have a special I meeting didn't on April imagine 1st. it going this way and making you sit through you. Green Acres here. Oh, no, you're Fair fine. You're completely fine. Oh, I, I, I almost called you and said, you can go out to dinner maybe first, <laughs> show up around 6. Um, no, but fine. at this time, if we do this, we need to move to. Are you moving? I, I would entertain a motion to. I'll move, we, I'll move that we move into executive yes, session for the first purposes of personnel, discussion, compensation, discipline, employment, all the rest of it in chapter two. I was going to say, I have the language. Okay, if you there want you go. The, Put that language in there. And then <laughs> if you want to read the actual and, um, language. And you'll be your excuse for the evening if you'd like. So good. I think you'd like it. And Cindy, you also. This is here. Okay. Yeah. I don't see us doing it. Making any no. Any no. Any we'll let you know what time we adjourn. Yeah. We can be or we recess for executive session at 6.30. Yeah. 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 yeah, I know. I feel like, yes, for the people that, that you're going to